it's 5 in the morning and I've had way too much caffeine. So I'm going to do a quick replay walkthrough of one of our games for the benefit of you assholes, Ray Riley, etc. And whoever else is watching this. Now I want to go through the draft team. This is going to be from one of our stomps. Uh, we haven't done much captain's mode lately. I think it's a shame because if you go look at our captain's mode win rate on Dopa and the Dota buff, after the addiction of the Because I want to go through drafts. Process on drafts. I'm pretty. This draft is a bit weird because usually if I have an idea, I just run with it all the way through. But this one, I had an idea and I asked. Radiant I, team I, ban. One or two suggestions and I tweaked it and I ended up being strong. But usually, if I get a good idea in the beginning, dire team ban. If I get a good idea by the second, like the second. Of the second phase of the second pick, but um, Radiant Team Ban! Right after they first pick, or right after if they ban something that tells me something, and I get an idea, I'm 70% sure Dire that I get Team Ban! Most of the time, in theory. It's because of their shitty pup players, not because I'm like PPD or anything, but like, maybe if my Radiant owner team goes up pick. and you get into 6Ks, I have to start playing smarter, oh, and drafting hey. smarter, but. Right now, it's so yeah, first pick Queen of Pain, because it's first pick Queen of Pain. Like, when I draft, I want to put as much pressure on the other team as possible. Dire and team pick. If that means giving away a ton of information in the first phase, so fucking be it. Like, I want them to react to me. I don't want to have to react to them. I don't want to see them pick the brood mother, and then I have to pick around to try to stop Radiant the team pick. Goes to their hands. I want them to try to pick around me. Um, and then this eventually what will happen is we'll find a good team that doesn't pick around us and we don't pick around them and then each person does their own draft and suddenly that's how you make things by Dota. Each team comes with their own idea and you have to find out which idea is better. That's really what this whole new patch is in 6.84. We saw a lot of drafts remaining. in Drow, like Drow lineups, and that's because like that's an easy to, it's an easy to understand lineup, it's easy to understand timings um, and what you're supposed to do with it. Um, although it can fall apart, like we had that one game where it just fell apart after we lost one fight. Um, I was debating talking about that game, but I have. Dire I team believe bad. I know why we lost that game. You guys have different beliefs, whatever. I just think uh, the draw lineup is pretty fragile. Unless you, you have to put a safety net around it, like you have to have like a bristle off lane or like an aggro with a bristle or like some sort of. Team Ten team seconds team. remaining. Uh, anyway, that's. That's kind of what this patch is about. It's like five seconds remaining. Winning the lanes while having a timing, uh, a certain combination that comes in at a certain Reserve timing. Reserve time. And that's the hardest thing I think. So anyway, about this draft, um, through mother and undying is shit. I don't want to play around. Although undying is easy to play around because you can just put map. We have good, like we have players with this good skill. We have a pop player. We have a naga player. We have a storm player. We have a. Uh, like you know whatever they went gyro bane which is a strong duel and i don't think they ever did it well i don't know i went quad dazzle 10 uh, seconds why did remaining I, go dazzle? I guess just for gyro bane uh oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this ended remaining. up being a drow lineup i'm pretty sure i, I think i end up saying all right this is a drow lineup we can just aggro which is fucking gyro bane because i don't give a shit um and i swear if i look i'm probably gonna see what they're doing yeah, I ended up being a draw lineup with the Viper. And my, I was debating the Viper. I was thinking Bristol on the way. I was the, the Bristol against Gyro. Because I think Bristol is really good against Gyro. Um, and I know the Dazzle is really good against Gyro and Lane. Like, if you ha if you have to fight against a Gyro and Lane and want to get the Dazzle, then you use a Heal Bomb. Um, I, I think he has pretty good armor. Uh, I actually don't know Gyro's base armor, but it's, you know, it's bound to be pretty good. Silencer. Alright, once they saw Silencer, I was like, alright, we won the fuck. Because I honestly pick. don't give a fuck about what this hero offers in the game. Um, he's sort of like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know, he's just shitting lane. Like, everything he can do, and Skyrim can do better. Um, 
like Skyrath is faster than this hero, is better than this hero, Silence is better than this hero. Uh, I guess harassment is like ten seconds like remaining. I guess Silence has the edge. That's the only edge for the blade. Well, like as soon as I saw that, five I was like, seconds remaining. We didn't just run over the Silence over and over and over. Because the Bane, his job with the gyro was to get killed, right? Time. The Nightmare and then you run a person down and black hit, black hit, black hit. But if they have a weak point and they're second support, right, then you can isolate. Um, you not you force the bane into two jobs. You force him to either try to protect the silencer or protect the guy, but the guy was just wants to find He didn't give a fuck. If he if not, he gets someone gets nightmare, fine, he'll go for the kill, but he doesn't want to fucking protect the silencer. He doesn't want to help the bane protect the silencer. And this is when I just fully committed to the drow, I was like, I can just pick drow now, I don't really give a shit. Because they could have gotten a drow and then you could have been in trouble. I didn't have any bans. And then I'd have to go into like some weird ass lineup. I didn't have Spirit Breaker, which I would want against the lineup with Drow. I didn't have any other shit, which is good against Drow. And the fact that they didn't ban Drow, if they, like, they didn't remaining. deserve ban Drow, then they're fucked. Puck. The Puck was a good, maybe that's a Puck pick. Right in, team pick. But, uh. It doesn't work. I think it's fine. It's... Riley doesn't like playing Drow, which is fine. He doesn't want to play it, he doesn't want to play it. Um, I don't want to rely on ground lineups all the time, but I think against shitty lineups, like if we ever play ranked captain mode and we're like 500 MMI my head of the other team or whatever, and we just pick a ground lineup and we just fucking go. Or we're like, it doesn't even have to be a full ground lineup, it just be like a draw solo. Ten space. seconds just, remaining. I go so hard that they can't afford to do it. But that's if they pay off laners first. Five like, seconds remaining. Like if they pick a shitty off laner first, then you can do draw solo safe. But if they don't, if they don't pick an off laner first, you can't do draw solo. Safe. Reserve time. Here we get the draw solo site if we know what the fuck off lane, but we don't know what their mid is. Like if they had another hero instead of here, like you know, we don't know. This is, I remember thinking about that, like the lanes right now. It doesn't matter what heroes we get, it's how we get the lane now. We can fill in the gaps. These like these three already do enough to secure. Like we can fit any hero in and get an aggro trialing going. Or we can do like three any we can pick three heroes that can go solo safe but three heroes are going which is why another reason why Drow is so good is just really flexible. The thing is, it shatters if you lose one team fight. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it does. Strow is not good for fighting from behind. I don't think it is possible. Shadow Demon is good for playing like Dazzle's okay. Because if you stall, if you have Wake player with a Dazzle, you can actually just stall forever. Reserve time. And then just take a fight when you like. It helps Dazzle helps you initiate when you're behind. If you have a physical damage lineup. Which is kinda why I think it's essentially the draw lineup, so it's one catch and I think you yeah, it. I think you also need like a Dark Seer. Or like a bristle or tusk. I don't know why they're getting enigma. Like there's no way we go that dude with this lineup. Like, they leave me Enigma when they see these three. There's Riot no fucking team way. Ban. I guess it's okay, because look, they weren't planning on roaming with these two, right? Which is alright, you don't want to pick. But I wouldn't. Like, if I was going to go a jungler, it wouldn't be Enigma, I'd be saying What is this? Oh, I think Ten oh. seconds remaining. <clears throat> oh, it's actually still going, huh? That's nice. Dire team Down. pick! I banned catch. Here, I just banned to catch. Lion could have been good for us, but I don't really give a shit. Um, it doesn't work for the Nagra lane. If they, if they see me ban Lion, then they probably like, oh shit, they're Nagra lane. Clockwork is more catch. Clockwork is really good as catch. I'm probably going to be picking a lot more when we go back to Captain's mode. Um, but the thing is, a lot of the other offlaners are really easy. Um, Ten seconds remaining. They're abusable. Undying is abusable. And sometimes you doesn't get banned. Five seconds Phoenix remaining. uses a ton of melee carries that people like picking for some dumb reason. Uh, Reserve time. What else? Uh, we usually just run a lot of aggro lanes. I don't want to get a spear breaker. We run a lot. Uh, tusk. I don't know about tusk being off lane. I think I like him better as a support because level two he just does so much. Level 1 is too, there's a lot now. That is a Phoenix, but I'm like, I don't really know. Team pick. This is where we're like laughing to get a pain of space when it's 1v1 in the solo versus solo lane. 
he can dodge fire spirits, uh, his all his skills use HP and he has a small HP pool, so Trap Strike destroys him. Uh, he doesn't do anything to the game. Another one with the Viper. Now it's considering the Bristleback. But I don't think Bristleback does well against these heroes. Farming now is like, alright, I can't go to the I can just go with the Viper and take I'm really talking about it. I think we had other options to take into the aggro, but I don't think it matters. And, uh, you could fit any. You could have won with a Queen of Pain aggro, but we decided to uh, Queen solo because I think the Queen levels are important too. You can't have Drow. I keep saying it, but I'm gonna say it again. You can't have Drow usually in a um, in a in a side lane. Uh, on, on, only in very certain conditions can you have a Drow in the side lane because she just needs experience so much to have the other lanes win. If you're in the side lane, you have to be absolutely sure that your other two lanes are going to stop without the extra drought aura. So you expect that time. was I mean, most this welcome. Is this build. So that seems good to me. Like, unspent gold, nice. Unspent. So it's the mid pocket. Right, that's what we are losing. This is not the goal. Thirty seconds to battle. I wonder if, yeah, okay. I was about to say, did I call that ward? But I don't think we actually gave a shit. Like, actually, this word is so useless if you know they're aggro. Because, like, what supports are going to rotate if you're aggro trying to run away? And he... The battle the begins! Soundtrack. They've already decided that they're not roaming. Worthy so, tribute. Like, I'll take that. Work. I got a lot of gold riding on this! Be better in their own jungle, I think. I think you just lane ward yeah, if you're just playing like that. <clears throat> I wonder if they know. I think they know. I think they saw us and they're like, alright, they're aggro. Alright, this is... <laughs> alright, this is Erzatic. Uh, I need to watch this player perspective, actually. Alright, he is here. Alright, so I have a tendency to just beat in these aggro trilings as uh, Shadow Beans. And that was something I was, I was acutely aware of this match, and I was like, alright, I need to not die. And I was like, what could kill me? Rocket Garage could kill me unless I disrupt myself. Um, Shadow Demon Nuke could kill me. Nightmare is a Shadow Demon Nuke. I mean, Silencer Nuke and Nightmare could probably kill me. Plus, right clicks. Alright, we lost one and a half to two, and that's fine. I was playing a little bit timidly, Riley was saying just go sometimes, just go. Um, I was just playing timid. I figured it would be so I figured uh, it's better to play timid and catch them out. Because they can't really contest us. Like if they walk into us, they die at this point. Dyer's top tower is under attack! Especially once we have I think level one is our weakest to go through. Alright, we healed in half one. I wanna see what happens here. Dyer's All right. Well, okay. Where was his mouse? Where is his mouse? I'm clicking my mouse away. I want to watch his mouse. Attack. All right. He's clicking. He's clicking. He's clicking. <laughs> All right. He wasn't clicking himself. He was double with the cast or something. I don't know. So we. <laughs> he needed to just go. How fast did Jaro? He is kind of fast, so it is tricky up to kind of body block him. Now, I can't really predict where my illusions are gonna be. We didn't get a kill, but they were not, I think they realized. Um, if I'm them, what do I do? Dyer's bottom probably, tower is under attack! Lanes, right? Do you, yeah, like, okay. If 
I'm I'm missing. What I do is okay. I'm a bane, right? I'm a Sansa. Instead of just standing here, dear God. First of all, I'm probably gonna go stack if anything. Second of all, I want to get the supports away from the lane. A 1v1 Gyro versus uh, Viper is not. Okay, okay we, we've got the heal bomb off that time. First blood. No guy. Everyone wants to see my promise of Dominion. Your soul is dead. Okay, can I do this? Can get a second one? Alright, that's fine then. I'll get the second one. I, okay, so yeah, if I'm the I'm dire supports, I probably want to get the supports away from top lane. Because that limits your kill potential with this harass, and then you can manage your pulls because we didn't block we didn't block the full cannon. Dire's middle tower is under attack. So dire supports need to get supports away from top. Many a grave is hidden in these woods. How did the puck get so low? Silence plus right click and then second silence plus right click. Do you see? Okay, I'm gonna watch mid lane. I'm gonna go back and watch mid lane. This is a really short game, so I don't really care if I go back. Go back. Okay, we're going back all the way at the beginning. Alright, alright, fine, fine. I'll come to deal with it. Okay. Give advantage for Drow. Two armor on Puck. Weird orb, level one orb. She jaunts to it into the creep. All right, what the fuck is this pump doing? And then Kerrigan just rightly lands up, cross arrows. Miss. Okay, she could have got the kill. She fucked up her orb walk. But all right, what do I do here if I'm the puck? I ferry out a salve immediately. I did the same thing if I'm the draw. I just ferry out a salve immediately. I did not wait. Carriers and use top lane for what was that the Wraith band? Dazzle! Okay, I don't know what was on that courier, but it was not it's not that important. Now, they both actually have the same HP. So Tango trades is tied. Alright, this is not what you do. Take advantage is a thing carried and you can't just walk past two range groups. Dyer's right, bottom tower equals. is under attack. Bottom, okay, I'm gonna Illusion. Have to Just waiting on the bottle. No. Put the way stands up. So yeah. And she never gets the bottle. Because Gyro needed to get there. That's so bad. Like, mid needed to have priority because of the kill. It's not happening. First blood! Right, so you know how this happened, right? Or creep advantage for Drow. She stands there. Okay, this is what I want to see. I think you just silence and go, yeah. Okay, that's exactly what you did. There's no way he jumps this, right? Oh my Dyer's god! Click! Fuck! Click on the enemy hero! With double rate fans! 31 strength to 23, like what? Ooh! Alright, this is like first time puck. Got excited, wanted to use her skills, dude. I'm like, ow, I, I want a jaunt, dude. I want to press my jaunt button. That is not something to do. Alright, did ferry out a sal. Hey, these guys are like, Dyer's top under tower is under attack. Alright, top lane. Dyer's top tower is under attack! We missed a kill top lane. 
But it doesn't matter. All these kills are just out of position to get stuck. None of this actually matters. What matters is that these two are still here and not trying to make space. They have done they need to go okay, after Puck okay. John to it, I fucking did it right that town. She probably would have drawn it to it. The fuck would have drawn it and then probably died again. Because it's a triple rate fan trade. Like you think, oh, look at her HP. She has 275. It's like, yeah, it's like it's still half of what you have. Yeah, John, okay, this is where you're an idiot now. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. That's for your time. impertinence. Alright. Yeah, when you're this low, you can't approach the creep. Okay. Put it out of your mind. Wow, she walked in with her. Alright, she got. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is 3k the other way. This is. Oh shit, look! I hit red numbers on the puck, dude. Look Put how cool that I am. Mind. Red numbers, red numbers! <laughs> and then. Did she just hit them? I don't know. She hit them. No. She hit them Radiance she hit Middle points. Tower is under attack! That's for your impertinence. That's her fault for getting hit by. I think you go two right fans and then you need to middle tower right is under one. attack! And you just carry out your jump. Especially against a puck because you want the the movement speed. Especially like, like when you go orb heavy, like that's so bad. Versus like a, a drow, I think. Or any hero that can go I don't know. I think silence is so much better than the attack. I just no. but then the random units to get five minutes. This was the trade-off, right? That the, uh... The, uh... The Phoenix gets lots of levels. And then, so he did what he was supposed to do. This is not what he was supposed to be getting a headdress. So if this is a max, this is actually Dark terrible. Light. Because look at her mana pool. That's terrible. That's like, all this HP gone, and then what, you cast Fire Spirits? Like, you need 300 mana to cast your spell, which means she needs to find. She needs a 200 mana surplus. She needs 250 mana Dyer's surplus. Dyer's bottom tower is terrible. under attack! Uh, anyway, but yeah, this is uh, this is what Dyer should have done. It came to me earlier. Um, Dyer's bottom tower they know that Phoenix is, is gonna have a good job, right? When they see this tri lane, they're like, fuck, we're in trouble. This, this tri lane just shits on us. Um. With the heal. Good mistake. Whatever. If I died, it's actually because that's one of the stick and just go by right away. It's okay. It'd be terrible. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Um. Double kill. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. What they should have done Dyer's is, is uh, under attack. rotate the points away. First, they try to gank mid. They try to make use of that ward, which ends up pretty big. Killing off. spree. Triple kill. Dyer's uh, top tower is under attack. So they leave the lane, get a smoke, that silencer when he's standing here, he could actually just walk back to base, pick up the smoke in the bottle for puck, and walk him in while the courier was doing fuck all. So Killing spree, double kill. Um Phoenix can rotate top. The, uh Viper can't exactly just kill. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Uh, all the Phoenix doesn't actually Phoenix is an Viper doesn't Dyer's actually kill Jaro all that quickly if they rotated away early enough, so if the cable is in there, he's not gonna get like the jar is gonna get her ass and count CS, but who cares? If what you're doing is you're waiting Dyer's for the what's the Phoenix has dominating. Hits, he can always come and help Jaro. The the the, the bane and the silence will be helping him. Dyer's bottom tower they can't really is under attack. Flop. I mean I guess they can, like if the lane's pushed up here and you get the silence on flop and she plays down and she silenced and you have another hero here, then maybe like, Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. To line up their spells like that. That's like once in a blue moon. And then, no talent. You only do this when you're ahead on the talent. Same thing with Skyrath is when you can get that shit. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So yeah, main phase broke down. Power taken. Gyro has two CS. Two CS, I just realized. Shut away. I remember Riley saying, I didn't even under attack. respond to this thing. I said, he said this earlier, but not right now. Now I'm thinking, okay, we need to get the fuck out of this thing, because they're all gone. Killing spree! Alright, we're Dyer's top tower is under attack. Phoenix is killing 
Zhao, but who cares? That doesn't matter. Dyer's top tower like, at this has point, Zhao can die like three times. Set. It's when the other heroes die to the bomb. That's the problem with the ground right now. The ground has to... The ground is under attack. The ground is under attack. The ground is Um... Well, like, middle tower is under it's attack. a carry without actually carrying, I want to say. Because they don't have to worry too much about dying. They just have to, like, kind of make sure. It's almost like a support. Dyer's bottom tower is under more, attack. The, the, the drow pick up. Dyer's bottom tower is Eventually, under attack. Eventually, I think, at this point, she should have just went jungle and then fought them just for some bit. And land against the puck. Because the puck is actually in a really sorry state. Fucking blank so it's not terrible, but one orchid and scream and two right clicks and then this is space created. No mana for sleep. Ray could have hung around and killed the courier if he was smart. But he only goes to the courier when it's a dumb thing to do. Dyer's middle tower is under attack! Kill her here at all. Dyer's middle tower is okay, under attack! Nice, but like, alright, congrats. You're gonna have a hundred spare mana that you have to get back. Ulti. There's still no, uh... Thanks for that! You see the strength tried to land up. Come on, Ray. Don't be a bitch, Ray. Keep thinking about it. Keep thinking about it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he still gets it. Oh, now he's in. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I guess that's smarter. You would have died if you walked mid from. Oh, he's still dead, isn't he? <laughs> My heart beats Okay. Dyer's no top tower is under attack. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on, it's my, it's my, my time to shine. No uh, Dyer's top it. tower is under attack! I bet you this Bane walks up though for no fucking reason. Pretty good. He didn't even brain tap. Like, he didn't even just brain tap me out of spite. He just wanted to die. Dyer's top tower is under attack! Dyer's middle tower is I mean, under is that attack! Ward here? I thought that was Radiant Wars, but I was wrong. At, at this point, we have Dyer's middle tower has fallen! It's down at 6 CS. Dyer's middle tower is under attack! Alright, I'm gonna I'm pretty sure I said the leaf or something. Dyer's okay. middle tower has fallen! Dyer's middle tower is under attack! Silence! Maybe I could have been closer. I don't remember my thoughts about this time that I was thinking about. That probably could have been closer there. Dyer's right, bottom so how